Hello everybody, welcome to my channel, Ashley's Treasure, and today I got a bunch of things to show for Thrifty Thursday. Um, I am so behind, um, pretty much all of February, I wasn't able to do anything. Um, I actually got very sick, um, I could not stop coughing, I couldn't breathe, I could not stop coughing. Found out after a week it wasn't going away, and next you know my husband was starting to catch it, so we went and got checked out, we took a COVID test, came out negative, found out it was just bronchitis. And so, like, they put me on, like, antibiotics and, um, steroids and an inhaler. And, uh, before I was even over with that, um, my son at school, they had a fire drill at school. Well, he was in music class, so they had them go outside. And it was the coldest day of the year, too. It was 8 degrees outside, 8 degrees in Fahrenheit. And so he had no hat and no coat on. And, of course, he... and. Two days later, he started getting sick. He had a cold and passed it on to me. Luckily, all of us got sick but the baby. The baby was the only one that didn't get sick. So that's one good thing. So yeah, it's been crazy. And then um, someone very special in our family has been sick for, gosh, almost as long as I've known them. And it doesn't get better. There's no cure for it. Um, and was just sick of fighting it. And finally gave up and we end up losing that person so it's been very hard so February was just not our month and um, I'm sorry I wasn't able to do anything but yeah it's really hard and uh, we're getting we're trying to move on but um, we're planning the funeral and everything and we can't do that right now because it's still winter here can't do uh, funerals in the winter so um, hopefully in spring when everything's on thought, we'll get that out of the way. But um yeah. <laughs> you don't want to know about that stuff. Um stuff that I still have that I haven't shown yet. And I've oh my gosh, I got so much to catch up. I got my notebook of things that I gotta do. I still gotta do the flip through of the other um good housekeeping. Um isn't this a cute tag? I kinda wanna use this in a junk journal. And this one too, look at this. Isn't that pretty? Anyways, um, what's in this bag? I got clothes. Oh my gosh, isn't this look adorable? Having a little girl now. Oh my gosh, they got some cute clothes. Look, they got little flowers and ladybugs with flowers on it. Spring is starting to come. I'm so excited. This is just like the cutest dress ever. It didn't have a size on it, but it's got to be her size at this spring. And like, look how stinking cute this is. Isn't this adorable? I think she, my little girl, will look adorable in it this spring slash summer. So, yeah, she should start being able to fit into this. And this, too. Oh, my God, she looks so good in jean. This is, like, a one-piece outfit. Like, how stinking adorable is this? So, yeah, going to have to wash that. What else is in here? Cute little book. Little jackrabbit at home in the desert. Illustrations in here were pretty cute. Like, look at that. Yeah, so the pictures are front and back. Just then the, you know, wordies there. Which is kind of bummer. I kind of wish it was all on one side. So you don't have to choose which side. But, I don't know, I can do something. And then that one. It's so cute. And I like all the um, animal prints, you know. That's this one. Oh, sea monsters. I had to get this one for my son. What year is this? 1980. There was just, I like the the colors and stuff on these. These are so cool. Look at that. Isn't that great? So, yeah. Had to get that. And it's in really good condition, actually. I don't think, yeah, there's like no coloring or anything in here. So yeah, I had to get that. Why did I get this one? Detective Dinosaur Lost and Found. Okay, so this is just for my son to read then. So this is not focusing. Is it? I have it on a different setting. Try to see if it will come out clear. But it's actually coming out blurry, isn't it? But yeah, this is going to be a reading book for him. I wouldn't make a journal out of this. What's this? Oh, this is, um, I wonder what a rainforest is. And I thought I already got one of these from... Because this stuff is when I was up north. And I think I got this exact same one at one of the thrift stores here. 
I think I got it at the uh, Salvation Army. I'm pretty positive. So now I got two. So now I don't have to choose which side. Because there's some, like, really nice stuff in here. I think look at the bird. The grapes, the vines. I mean, look how great that is for a tag. And yes, the little baby girl. I just put her to sleep, and of course, I couldn't get brother out of the room fast enough. And by the time he finally went to a different room to play, little one woke up. So she is behind me in her playpen, and she's being good. I was hoping I should fall back to sleep, but isn't that great? My goodness. Oh, love it. So yeah, anyways. Ooh, look at, what was that? I thought I saw a butterfly or something or a type of a cicada or something. Maybe it was just that that I saw. I don't know. Oh, and then this. Um, normally I don't do, try, I try not to do ones that are just photos, but this one's animals that live together. And you could tell that this one was older from the portraits. It's focusing. Um, it was beavers, but because of the age of it is what I liked about it. Well, that's interesting. Um, when's the year? 1957. Oh, wow, it's actually older than I thought. But look how great that is. I love it. And these little bees. Oh, I love it. Is it focusing? Yeah, I don't think I'm going to do this setting again because it's like making it hard for it to focus. It's not focusing well. I got it on like portrait video instead of just regular video thinking that it would help, but I think it's just making it harder. Because I do want to do like a bee type journal, so that'll work. Look at that. I know they're not the most attractive things in the world, but they're fun. And then there's, so it does bees and now beavers. All, so yeah, the only photo is the cover, and then the inside is all illustration. Now I remember. It's been a while since I saw this, because I had it in the bag waiting. And then this is the Ant Queen and the Ant Queen's family, which isn't the most attractive thing in the world. I don't think I'm really going to be using those. But the other ones are great. The bees and the uh, beaver. Oh, and then... <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to do a junk journal on Care Bears or not. I I've seen... Oh gosh, I forgot her name. I'll have to mention, I'll have to, I'll probably like put it up there. I gotta look it up. But there's four easy to read stories of the Care Bears. And I've seen someone else do a journal. She does a lot of things like uh, Candyland and the Care Bears and Strawberry Shortcakes and stuff like that. She's really good at that. But I think I mostly got this for my little girl to read to her right now. And in the future, I might make a little journal out because it's just so cute. I like all the bright, fun colors. And it's like brand new, too. And at that thrift store, they're like 35 cents or 34 cents, something like that. And look at this little cute skirt. It's like brand new. It still has a thing. And it even has the shorts in it. I'm, I'm pretty sure I got that half price. So it's like, why not? It's so stinking cute. Sorry, the furnace was running and it's so loud. So I turned it off and I switched back to regular videos because it seems like the portrait video was just, it wasn't focusing right. So this is another little book that I got. I think it was like 35 cents that they sell children's books at that thrift store. It's um, they're, the one I go up north is one of the Salvation Armies. And I absolutely love these books, these Smithsonian ones. Um, I've got a little collection of them. And this one's like a little chipmunk. Um getting ready for winter like it's in fall this one's 1994 i believe yep 94 but look at that isn't that great so for a fall journal or one just on chipmunks or you know nature like every page there's like something you know look at those mushrooms isn't that fantastic um but yeah every time these are gonna be great tags like look at that i love it see i use that one the little toad and the mushroom and the leaves isn't that great i love these so much so every time i see them i get them you okay sweetie <laughs> yep she's okay <laughs> but yeah isn't that great i love it 
He's getting ready for winter. And then, what's this? I can't remember. <clears throat> this was just like some random stuff. I don't think I even looked in here yet. Um, this was $1.99. Yeah, I haven't even opened it yet. It's got <laughs> two big er baseball erasers. It's got regular pencils and some little pens. Isn't this at uh, Target? Had a little Christmas pens. Well, that's cute. My son could definitely use these pencils for school. Uh, let's see. There's some note paper. We always use these. Yeah, that's not the most exciting. But there's some blue lines. You know, I can always just use the pink lines. I do like different colored lines. I do like that a lot. So there's these pink ones and then these blue ones. So I would just cut this part out for on my tags. Like I would cut this and this off. Or, you know, I can always put something over that. So yeah, I would use those now that I think about it. Uh, this one's a little heart tree and she is talking back there. And again, you can just use the lines. Uh, not huge over this one, but that is really cute for a little kid. Uh, this one's a nutcracker, so I can use that for Christmas. This one's a little wet, but there's this cute little flower there I can fussy cut out. Um, this one's garden. This one's nice. I could definitely use that. And for spring. Little kids' handprints. And you always need to write notes. Oh, this one's pretty. Love that. Yes, I hear you, baby girl. This one's a little polka dots with puppies. Of course, that she fell asleep. Now I can't get her to fall back to sleep. It was only like for a couple minutes. And what is this? It's like plasticky, but it does. It's really pretty colors. It is cute with the little flowers. And it's got a little pocket in here, and side pockets here. I don't know. Was this handmade? I have no idea. But it's really cute. Hmm. I could use it as a cover as a mini, a little mini journal. Interesting. Okay, here's a little note journal. Oh, and they're blue pages. And again, I don't have to use the border, I can just use the lines. They're blue. More paper. When do we not need paper? Ooh, this is nice. That's cute. And just says journal. See? Right there. Perfect cover. And I got all this paper. It is kind of thin. It's like almost... You can kind of see my fingers through it. It's very thin. And it's like already coming out. Like it's glued in there. So it'll come straight out. It's already starting to come out. But that is a cute little cover. It's not bad. I like the music notes and the rose. Ooh, what's this one? This looks like it was something from Michael's. Or no, it's from Dollar Dollar Store, it looks like. Peel here. Well, peeling here is not working. <laughs> um, but yeah, just some flowers. It's not a bad color combo going on. Um, but again, it's just plain old paper. Can't go wrong with those. And it's sewn in. So that's actually even better, being sewn in. You know, so I can have them just like this side of the, um, when I put them in my journal, I don't, the lines don't have to be this way to write this way, you know? It can actually be correct. And this is actually a really good size, so that is great. And I saw this one. I do like this one. And it's like kind of bendable. It's not, I thought it was hardcover. It almost feels like, almost feels like leather, but it's obviously not. It's like fake leather. It has that plasticky feel. Ooh, and it's cream. And it has blue lines. And it's sewn in. Hello. This is perfect. Fantastic. At least it looked like it was sewn in. And it's got a little bookmark in here. So yeah, this hasn't even been used. This is great. And it's got the shiny on the edge. So, for $2.99, for all this, it's not bad. I'm not complaining. That was worth it. 
<clears throat> which I can't remember if this was half price. I don't think that was half price. I can't remember what the colors were that day. I got these cards. I think the tan was the ones that were half price. I'm pretty positive because I think I'm pretty positive that was. And then I found all these cards and I kind of like tried to glimpse and they looked kind of old. So that caught my attention. And so I thought this isn't bad. So for like $1.99 for all these cards isn't a bad idea. I can't remember if I looked through these ones or not, but um, I love this one. And it comes with an envelope. I even love the inside. How great is that? And I think, yes, that's great. And this kind of looks like that, um, oh, there was that paper that you do your resume on. You know, it's kind of like that. It's really interesting paper. I love that image too. And a nice envelope. Look at these cuties. Hope you'll soon be well. Have all these little flowers and everything. Great for spring. Feeling sick. Oh gosh, these are cute. Another one of them. Uh, this one will be a little hard for me to use. But again, I can just simply put something else over here. Do a little collage and then look at all this writing area. And then I can do like a little mini collage on the bottom. There you go. So that's still worth it. I love this. I probably don't want it to say get well, but I you know, can always put something else in here. Like hope or something. Love. And again, look at all this spot to journal on. A get well note. That is pretty. That's gorgeous. It kind of has that um, Japanese feel to it. You know, with the painting. Oh my gosh, look at this doggy. Please feel better. So I'll put this in a doggy journal, or even spring. And I could put like puppy love or something underneath there. Anything I can do to help. Aww. Oh, and it's got an apple bouncing. That's cute. So I could do that for fall, you know, cause you know an apple picking is, and then put something else on the top. And this is actually kind of cute. Could probably cut that off, put something here. Get well. Ooh, this one's nice. Oh, I like the feeling of this. This is nice texture. Can you see that? I love this one. The whole thing's like this. Oh, and it's got that creamy color to it. It's not white. What's the matter, baby girl? <clears throat> Hope you're feeling better soon. Great colors. Great for spring. This is thicker. I love this. I will use this for my uh, sunflower journal, so I'll set that aside. I don't know if that came with that or not. I'm not actually, I should put the envelope separate. <laughs> um, oh my gosh, isn't she adorable? There's a little chipmunk. Oh, look at this little boy. So these would be great for fall. Gosh, he is so cute. Singing. Anything oh, and there's little stuff inside too. And they got a little clothes. There's a basket of apples. Here's another one of her. Another one of him. So I got two of each of those. And look at these flowers. And this one has that nice texture too. I love that feeling. Yeah, these are great. I love that. Um, this is another one of that same texture. Pretty rose. And it doesn't have a brand name. It just says it's made in the USA. And a number. I wish I knew because I love the feeling of this paper. And you know, could even just cut this out. And then plus cut the rose out. You know, I could cut this window out maybe. I don't know, there's just so many things I could do with it. Another one of those. And this is another one. I just love these. Uh, envelopes. This one is so glittery. Yep, I already don't like it because it looks glitter coming everywhere. It's dimensional. It does have a cute little tag though. For your bridal shower. 
It is cute though. I do like that stamp. Paradise greeting. I thought that was Hallmark, but it's not. Aw, isn't this a cute little couple? Aww. And this has some uh, little texture to it too. And it's recycled. Ooh, I love this. With these flowers, these yellow roses on the blue. Isn't that gorgeous? It is kind of glossy, but it's gorgeous. I love this. That one's got more color too, and this one's got hearts on it. Oh, and there's a sky in the back. That's great. A nice green. This is a nice pastel green. A little light purple one. This is a cute little envelope. It has a smaller flap. Shoe box. A tiny little d division of Hallmark. That's very yellow. Is that for yellow journal? Do you want to come here, sweetie? Or are you just playing? Are you having fun? Yeah, she's just having fun. She's not fussing. She's playing with our uh, stuffed animal cat in the hat. <laughs> okay, envelopes. This one's an aged one. It's got some patina to it. This is another one of those shoe box. There's a guy grilling. A dog. These are really odd looking. <laughs> Might put something else on the inside. This one's creamier colored. A lot of envelopes. Yellow. Some kiddos. Those are so cute. Are both your feet in one sock? Oh my gosh, she's bouncing around. <laughs> Ooh, that's interesting. <laughs> All right, we're back. Little one's here. Can you say hi? And she's got her cat in the hat. Are you going to help? Are you going to say hi? Say, I can roll over now. Yeah, I can roll over from my uh, back to my tummy and my tummy to my back. Oh, this is fun. This is like a tripod one. To say, I'm thinking of you. That's nice. A nice yellow one, although it's kind of bent there, but that's okay. Um, there's some cute flowers. Oh, and there's like a you know, see-through. What else? That's nice. I like the ribbon. This one's pretty. And it's got a dimension on the flower. Like you can feel the embossing to it. And it has uh, scallop edges all around. That's very pretty. Your friendship is a gift. I enjoy every day of my life. Oh, and look, there's nothing in here. That is fantastic. I love the flowers. And you can kind of see the embossing from the other end. That's so pretty. That's a great one. Here's a little fall one. You know, I can always put different pictures over this. Or fall journal. This is a nice uh, color tan, light tan envelope. This one's a little window. So that's a nice little trifold. And you know, I can always put something, a different title. I can always put something else on here, a different picture, and always over here to journal on. And a nice, another nice envelope. All this room to write on. I love anything and everything to do with water. I absolutely love lighthouses. This one's just a note, which is perfect for journals. And it's all blank, perfect. It is glossy though, so I might have to put like a different type of paper on here. So um, something will write on that. This is really cute. Look at that. And can you see the um, dimension to it? It's embossed as well. That is cute. Just a note. Oh, and there's a butterfly there. That is fantastic. Perfect for journals. I got a couple of those. One, two, three. Sorry, I had a hiccup. <laughs> um, this one has some embossing too. Just a note. 
And this plane has got that ombre from blue to green. That's fantastic. He's a cute little <laughs> Thanksgiving turkey. It's not too bad. A little bit more cartoony than I prefer, but not bad. Um, this one's a scenery. I had a, light, I had a little stream or river or whatever. Autumn Splendor. Autumn Splendor. Nice envelope. And a little turkey. Some fall ones. That one's cute. Nice spring one. It's got carrots. We stick bunnies. That's a nice fall. Um, just a note. Kind of the lighthouse one. And that one's blank. This would be a, a good spring one. Spring hat. Do sunflowers. Had that with my sunflowers. Cute little bears. I do for a teddy bear journal. This one's at a lake. <coughs> Excuse you. And then this one's pretty. It says happy anniversary, but you can simply put something else in there. But I love this watercolor flowers around it. Very nice. <clears throat> a, little, a little birdie. It's blank inside. There's some apples. That's nice. This is a really cute cover, or uh, envelope, I mean. It's got a little birdhouse and nest and some tulips. Oh, and there's more stuff, garden stuff. That's really cute. Um, again, glitter. Ugh. Congratulations. Once upon a time. Huh. Well, this is a nice envelope. That's gorgeous. And it's got like a lace doily thing going around. See that? Isn't that pretty? I love these yellow flowers. And it does have some gold on there. Some butterfly. Ooh, look at that. That is pretty. That is really nice. Like every part of it. And then there's this nice envelope to go with it. That is gorgeous. That's awesome. So yeah, definitely use that. And there's another really nice envelope for that type of a card. Those are so pretty. And it's got gold foil butterflies. Those are nice. I got more envelopes than I do cards of these. Hmm. And some stickers. There's butterfly. Oh, there's lighthouse. That looks like Maine. And then hummingbird and some doggies. That's not bad. I could definitely use these two. I'm gonna put up for a doggy journal. What's this? <clears throat> this one's got a little pocket or a window. I mean, birthday blessing. That's cute. Not bad. Yellow and it's got a nice um, design. Button back. Can you see that? Um, recipe for a happy Halloween. Not a normal Halloween one I would go for, but it's very cute. And I can always put something else over it. Look like how it's shaped in a heart. Um, this one has some embossing to it. It has all the birdhouses and flag and raspberries. Love the birds. Golden finch and a uh, bluebird. Um, happy birthday to a sweet sister. Your brother could give this to you. Little girl. Uh, in deepest sympathy. There's some silver foil on it. That's nice. That's not bad to journal on right there. So yeah, for all those cards, I'm pretty positive I got that half price. So all of these for that price is not bad at all. All right, that's all for that bag. So I think I'm going to cut it here and then do another video for all the other stuff. So 
I hope you enjoyed this and if so give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and of course don't forget to check out Sherry's channel Turquoise Dream to see what she got and what everyone else got and I will talk to you later. Say bye. Bye. <laughs>